Hi everyone, it's Dan Christian and today I'm going to be doing a playtest and review of these four amazing mouthpieces from Shape Your Own Sound. And I'll tell you something, they really are amazing. I've replaced the mouthpiece that I've been using for the last 10 years with one of these. There's also an opportunity to win one of these, so if you like, subscribe, share the video and leave a comment down below telling me which one of these you prefer, then I'll be sending one of them your way to one person in the comments below. So make sure you do that before the end of the video. Right, on we go! <laughs> So hopefully you've come across these mouthpieces before and you may have seen them advertised around the internet. These size mouthpieces are 3D printed and they're incredibly durable actually. And when I first saw them, I thought they're not going to be very durable, they're 3D printed. I've got some stuff that's 3D printed. A friend of mine has a 3D printer. I thought, oh, it's not going to be very good. But actually, these things are really solid. It's pretty much as solid as a hardened rubber one. And I'll tell you something, I have broken my fair share of hardened rubber mouthpieces. I've dropped them, I've dropped them on the wall. In fact, I've got one to show you. Look at this, it's so easy to break them. Look at that, oh, I've dropped it. I could have cried. I had a moment, it was really terrible. But I got over it. And you know, although it's an expensive mistake, it does happen, unfortunately. And I'll tell you something else. I actually dropped this. The first time I got it, I did put it in my sacks and I dropped it. I was having a liability, I drop everything. But I dropped it and you know what, it bounces. And on the sales website, when I was looking at the durability and things of this material, it does bounce and I can confirm that yes, they do bounce, which is, I suppose a plus, but people look after your mouthpieces more than I do. I've got a variety of four here to share with you today. I've got the Leyland Witty, which is this purple one here. So this is the Leyland Witty. They're all based on a specification for a specific player. So this is the Leyland Witty here, which is a seven opening. I've got a green one, which is the Darrow Baruzzi. This one here. I've got a blue one, which is a Morrington Mor Locket. I have no objections. I've got a Morrington Locket here, which is probably the widest tip opening. This is a seven star, that one there. And then on my hand, other hand, I've got this orange one, which is the Dane Stevens, this, the orange one here. So what I'm going to do in this video is play them all to you. I'm going to play this exact same music to you and you can decide which one you prefer the sound of. To be honest, I kind of like them all. I mean, I have got a favorite. I won't tell you which one it is. I have got a favorite, but I like the sound of them all. And I think actually there is kind of a, a purpose for almost all of them. They almost all have a different kind of um, style to me. And that's quite unusual because I've tried loads of different mouthpieces, hundreds of mouthpieces over the years. And actually I tend to find I sound the same on pretty much all of them. I've also got a video coming out after this one, which is how to choose a mouthpiece, what to look for and how to grade it. I've got a PDF that you can download that I use to sort of mark your um, your mouthpiece so that you can decide between them and see which one's the best for you. So please make sure you like, subscribe and all those kind of things and hit that notification bell so you can see when that video comes out, which won't be long at all. There's a couple of things that I wanted to mention on these mouthpieces that are quite cool before I get on with it. I'm using the same read on every single mouthpiece as well, which um, gives, I suppose gives us a slight disadvantage to some of them because the wider tip opening could do with a slightly softer read. But um, I like the pressure fit ligature as well. Have you seen this? Look at this. Whoop. It's just a ligature that's just pressure. I've seen these. I've seen these for um, the clarinet. I haven't used one on the sax before, but they're actually quite cool. You literally stick your reed in place, stick that over the end, and then just pressure fits like that. No screws, none of that kind of thing, and that is 3D printed too. All of these mouthpieces come in different colours, and you can choose that and customise that yourself as well, which is interesting. All tests were done using the same reed and with zero effects on the sax sound. I played the same pieces and stood in the same position. The mouthpieces are revealed in the description below. Let me know your thoughts, it's a very individual thing. There are no right answers.
don't forget to let me know in the comments below which one you prefer the sound of and I'll be sending one of these mouthpieces directly to your door. The Sarah's mouthpieces also come with a 30 day returns policy. They will literally send the mouthpiece to you, allow you to try it out for 30 days and if you don't like it, you can send it straight back. I definitely recommend you do that. Try a few out, see which one works for you the best. I've got four here and all of them have slightly different qualities to them so it's worth checking out a few different ones. So a few points of interest from me then. The control that I have on these mouthpieces is amazing. It, they are really, really good. And I've not had that on many tenor mouthpieces before. Altissimo in particular has been a particular issue of mine. And these allow me to, act, to go up there so easily. A lot of people have said this. The control is amazing. The intonation on the mouthpieces, so how in tune I am across the instrument, is so much easier. The mouthpieces seem to just be a lot more accurate than your typical shaved down, um, hand shaved down mouthpieces, or the ones that I've tried anyway. I prefer the feel of these as well. I love that they come with a mouthpiece patch on them ready. I know that will come off, it'll wear out, but it's just a nice little touch that actually you get a mouthpiece and it comes with a mouthpiece patch already on. It's just a little bit of hassle out of the process. It just it just rings true with me. I think it's a really good thing. So overall, I really, really like these mouthpieces. I think they're great. They look they look really colorful. They look amazing. I can't comment on the longevity of the mouthpieces because I've only been playing them for a couple of weeks at the moment, but they're very, very solidly made. They are, feel quite weighty. They've got a lot of weight to them. They don't feel flimsy in any way. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna take this, knock it, and it's gonna be broken. It's actually quite very durable when I'm pressing here. I can't snap it or, anything daft like that. It feels just like a, a rubber mouthpiece really to me, one of the hardened rubber mouthpieces. It's got that kind of texture to it. So they feel very durable. Um, they haven't got the same kind of feel as a metal mouthpiece obviously, um, but they're very comfortable. They feel, the wide beak in the mouth feels very comfortable as well. So physically they feel very nice to actually blow on as well. Um, I honestly cannot fault them. I've not got a single negative to say about the mouthpieces at all. Um, in terms of mouthpiece that I've tried, I think it's got more control than my Jody Jazz. Um, so all in all, I'm really happy with them. So I think you should definitely check them out. I'll put a link in the description below, but to check out Zyos.co, it's Zyos.co, that's S-Y-O-S.co, and that's their website where you can see all the different types of mouthpieces they do, not just for tenor, but for alto, soprano, and baritone as well. I'm hoping to get hold of some of the alto ones as well to check those out too, so I'll keep you updated with that. So for now, Please like, share, subscribe if you did so. Tell me what you thought of all those mouthpieces because it's great to hear other people's opinions. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and I'll be sending one of these mouthpieces to one person down below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I shall see you in the next video. See you. Bye-bye.